News Army. The Australian Minister for Foreign Affairs cautions East Timorese about Chinese debt. Australia on Thursday, during a visit to East Timor, the Australian Foreign Minister warned the country against incurring unsustainable debt to the Chinese for a major gas project. Foreign Minister Penny Wong said she spoke with East Timor President Jose Ramos Horta at the Greater Sunrise Gas Field. Greater Sunrise is a $50 billion gas resource buried under the seabed that separates their two countries. Ramos Horta said last month that he was willing to seek Chinese funding for the Taisai Main Infrastructure Project, which would deliver Greater Sunrise gas to East Timor through the Taisai Main Pipeline. Wang declined to comment on whether Ramos Horta suggested bringing in Chinese partners, saying, I don't like to provide transcripts of every conversation we've had. He said East Timor, a half-island nation of 1.5 million people, was receiving Australian development aid in the spirit of wanting it to become stronger. Wang told reporters in Dili, East Timor's capital, that we are aware that economic resilience may be hampered by unsustainable debt burdens or creditors with conflicting interests. We, Australia, aim to help strengthen your nation. Since 2002, when East Timor gained independence from Indonesia, Canberra and Dili have argued over how to divvy up Greater Sunrise's finances. Under a maritime boundary agreement signed in 2018, East Timor will receive 80% of the money if the gas is shipped to Australia and 70% if it is piped to East Timor. East Timor accused an Australian intelligence agency of tapping government offices in Dili to give Australian negotiators an unfair advantage, leading to the scrapping of a 2006 deal. Wang said the current Greater Sunrise joint venture partners, East Timorese state-owned business Timor Gap, Australian company Woodside Energy and Japanese company Osaka Gas would have to agree for the project to go ahead. It has been stagnant for many years. I told the president, Ramos Horta, and others that we have to stop it. We must determine how a solution can be reached," Wong said.